Time for the day's sports. I'm Nicholas Mudimba. Over the years, Kenya has not fully embraced diversity in sports, choosing instead to send track specialists, boxers, and swimming to the multi-event championship. That's why countries like China and the U.S. win over 100 medals on the Olympic Games from the highly ranked African countries bags, only 10 medals. The National Judo Coordinating Board is focusing on building lasting structures for the sport and will for the first time be sending a team for the African African Youth Championships in Botswana. Despite Judah's inclusion into the Olympic Games at the 1964 edition in Tokyo, the sport's success story in Africa is still nothing to write home about. Kenya too has continued to stick to her traditional events being athletics, boxing and most recently swimming as her medal hunting grounds at the Commonwealth Games and Olympics. <laughs> The National Judo Coordinating Board is however keen on using the Africa Youth Games in Botswana to draw attention to the sport that is yet to be embraced by most Kenyans. A team of four that has been in residential training camp at the General Service Unit in Embakasi will represent Kenya in Kaberone starting on the 22nd of this month. The more we train more youths, the more we train more people, the more I know we will be able to get more medals, mostly in the Olympics. Judo is a Japanese name for gentleness, but the sport in Kenya is not receiving deserved support from sponsors who have chosen to take a wait-and-see approach. Many associated with violence, although judo athletes disagree. Most women... Most women do practice judo, mostly for self-defense, and judo has its etiquette. It's not physical because the Japanese are not that strong than Africans, so it's just mentally, mentally game. It's not a physical game that much. The sport also faces identity crisis among Kenyans. Many can't draw a line between judo, karate, and taekwondo. The results by this team in Haberone may just be a turning point to better things for the sport. Lynn Washira, KTN Sports.